Well, Dan, thank you so much for showing me a part of the library that I don't think you would normally associate with the library, a maker space. What exactly is that? Yes, welcome to today's library. 21st century. <laughs> That's right. So the maker space is a space for customers to come in and be creative. And it could be for entertainment purposes, it could be for a hobby, or it could be to learn a new skill. So we're really happy to have all of these services here for our customers to access. Fantastic. Now, is it free? Like, does the power of my library card give me access to everything? Absolutely. So come on in. We'll have a bunch of staff here who can help you get started. You know, we can sign you up for a class to learn how to use a new skill or use a new piece of equipment. Or, you know, if you just need some time on a creative computer, we've got all the different types of software that you might want access to. Oh, excellent. So you won't set us loose without any knowledge of how to use the equipment. Of course, we'll give you the lay of the land and let you know what options you have. Now, one of the places that I saw was the recording studio, which had some pretty amazing equipment, microphones, I think a synthesizer. Yeah. So tell me a little bit about that. We have three studios here, a small, a medium, and a large for different amounts of customers in each booth. So you could be recording, you know, your sweet guitar solo and just putting the headphones on and getting in that room or, you know, Maybe you've got a set of bagpipes at home. You can come to the library and record that. If you've got a buddy or, or a couple friends who are part of a group and you want to record something live together, a large studio is a great space for that. We'll have instruments, all sorts of audio recording equipment, soundboards for podcasting, oh, wow. all sorts of really great stuff. Okay, so if I'm a composer, I can come in and record my original song. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, full service here, so you can record, edit, and get back in there and re-record if you've made some mistakes. So what if I'm tomorrow's YouTube star? Can I shoot my videos here? For sure, we also have the Studio Lab, which is a full-blown photo video production studio. So we'll have all the camera and video, audio equipment you'll need, including a green screen and a nice station to work with. We'll have pre-programmed lighting grids as well, so you can come in and get the shot just right. And again, we'll have classes and certifications to get you up to speed on how to use all that equipment. And so I will have access to camera equipment, audio recording, so I, I can just come in with my library card and use everything and shoot that next great YouTube video. You got it. High quality equipment right at your fingertips with the library card. All right, I see some really funky looking printers, but not like the printers that I'm used to seeing. I'm used to dot matrix printers that just <laughs> scroll across the page forever with the little perforated holes. Here, it looks a little different. Tell me about these printers. These are 3D printers. So you may have heard of them. Uh, some people might really understand what they are. Some people might not have a single clue what they are. And here at Milner Makerspace, we are opening up a new model of access for 3D printers to the public, where it will be self-serve 3D printing. So again, we're gonna teach you how to use a 3D printer, maybe even get you with some intro design uh, tips as well. And we'll teach you how to use that 3D printer so you can come in book a time and use it at will. Are there preset designs or can I come in and design my own object that I want to print? Yeah, a little bit of both. So there are preset designs out there that you can pick and choose from. Uh, they exist on the internet. You know, we might even have a few in-house here that we can share with our customers. But the real power comes from designing your own 3D object. It's really magical to see it all come to life. And our team here is a bunch of experts. They can help you get started and really work your way through the skill levels of 3D design. Fantastic. Now, do I have to pay for the printing, the materials that's used? Yeah, there's a pretty simple cost recovery model for the printing. Um, so you'll pay a certain price per gram. It's very minimal. We're not charging you over the top for this. Um, and you're taking home a physical object with you, which is the great part. Why is there a Star Wars theme to one of the printers? <laughs> yeah, the team here does like to have fun kind of punny names for the 3D printers. So you might have noticed uh, Princess Leia. We have a lot of fun with it. Now, let's say I, I'm of a certain vintage, certain era, and I'm used to albums and cassette tapes, but I know that I wanna share these with maybe my kids or grandchildren. Is there any way that I can take old albums or old cassettes or even old VHS tapes and convert them to something that can be used today? Absolutely, we have a digital conversion station, which has all the equipment you'll need to basically pull that data and that information, digitize it, and put it onto your USB stick for you to share with your family. So audio, video, photo, we've got it all at the digital conversion station. So let's say I'm fashion forward. Okay. And I want to make my own vest or shirt. I noticed here you have uh, some sewing machines. 
Yes, sewing will also be a service here at the Milner Makerspace. I will have a bunch of sewing machines, even a serger, and access to all sorts of tools and equipment to help you create that really nice vest or hem your pair of pants, or maybe even make a mask. Oh, wow. Okay, so if I'm making a mask, and let's say I wanna customize it, because you know, I've noticed that people are trying to brand their masks and put cool little logos on them. Is there a possible way that I can create my own customized logo on my mask? Yeah, we also have vinyl cutters here at the Makerspace, which basically take a, a film or a roll of vinyl, and you can do a digital design on the computer, 2D design, and we can cut out a really cool pattern that you might want to then heat transfer onto your mask. So we could do all sorts of, of really cool custom things with the sewing service and the vinyl cutting service together. And not only masks, t-shirts, pants, backpacks, whatever you might want to put that vinyl onto, we can do that. Okay, Dan, I noticed there's a set of double doors that leads into a secret space. <laughs> what is that secret space? And why do I have to wear goggles? Well, we're hoping it's not going to be such a secret once we open up here. This is the Fab Lab, and this area holds a few tools and equipment that might be maybe a bit more dangerous than the rest of the tools that we have here in the makerspace. So we'll ask that customers put on safety glasses when they enter the space. Depending on what happens, we might also have customers put on hearing protection too if they feel they need to. But this room is a place where we'll have woodworking tools, we'll have a CNC router, we'll have a laser cutter, and a whole tool chain to build your own book. So basically you have shop class in the middle of the Stanley A. Milner. Exactly. Fantastic. So uh, some of the things that I saw that were pretty amazing, there was, I think, a scroll saw, a drill press. So you're working with wood. And again, do you supply the materials or is that something I'm going to be bringing in like a whole uh, a pallet of two by fours? So with the Fab Lab, we'll have a few different tools in there that will use uh, wood as a substrate. So the laser cutter, the CNC router, obviously the sanding table, the drill press and the scroll saw will all use wood as kind of a substrate or a piece of material. And now I have a question about the laser cutter. Now outside of wood, is there any other material that I can use the laser cutter on? Perhaps a double agent named James Bond <laughs> from Goldfinger? <laughs> yes, uh, yeah, time is running out. No, the laser cutter is really great for any kind of natural materials. Things like wood, paper, uh, cloth, so even combining the laser cutter with our sewing service is another great way. And can you help me with the design if I wanted to do something with the laser cutter? What we're really going to try to do is boost the skills of our customers. So we might have classes available for customers to come in and learn 2D design or learn laser cutter design or CNC design. Quick skill testing question, what does CNC stand for? Computer Numerical Control. Ah, very good. Now tell me exactly what that machine does. So basically, there's a little drill bit inside mounted on a head that will spin like a normal drill, but then that drill bit is mounted on an XY plotter. So it will be able to zigzag across your piece of work to carve away a really cool pattern or design. There's also a slight bit of, of z-axis or up and down movement as well to give it sort of not quite 3d but maybe we'll call it two and a half d cutting where you might see some beveled edges of that carving as well let's say i'm more kind of a tech head and i want to play around with electronics yes what can i what can i access here yeah we have a little electronics workstation as well complete with a oscilloscope soldering irons we'll have a slew of parts let's say you want to bring in your broken clock radio because you've got a faulty speaker and maybe some wires need to be resoldered you can definitely come in, sit on our electronics workbench, and we'll have everything that you need to get started. Excellent. Okay, so near and dear to my heart, books. Can I do something here? Yes. Basically, what you'll do is if you have your book or your memoir typed up even in Word document format, we can help you take that document, print it out, cut it down to size, pick your cover art. We can create your cover, soft cover, even hard covers, and glue it all together and bind your book here in the Fab Lab. Wow, that's amazing. Dan, thanks so much for taking the time to show me this incredible space here at the Stanley A. Milner Library. I predict it's gonna be one of the busier spots in the whole library. Might be a bit noisy, but I think it's gonna be one of those fun spots that everybody's gonna to wanna to check out. Thanks for coming, Marty. Really happy to have you.